The Death Cell, a source of suffering for all life in the galaxy. It began as a normal factory for making robots, but a glitch in the system turned these robots into merciless monsters. They travel across the galaxy, destroying civilizations by stealing resources and multiplying at a rapid rate. That's why I've made it my life's mission to annihilate them. Commander, we have located a death cell. Are the prototype weapons ready to be deployed? Is it ready? Is the Destructor Clue 3000, the greatest accomplishment of my life, ready? <laughs> With a tough circular exterior to protect the payload, the Destructor can safely traverse through space and enter the factory through their delivery bays. Once it docks, sophisticated sensors are triggered causing the release of the main secret weapon, tiny chemo droids that destroy the factory from the inside out by chewing wires and causing general havoc. Yes, yes, of course. The Destructor Clue 3000 is ready. Meanwhile, in the body, a similar war is being waged. Just like the factory, a glitch in the cell's gene regulation can lead to malignant proliferation, which is cancer. One type of cancer is Hodgkin's lymphoma, which originates from white blood cells called lymphocytes. It is commonly treated with chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and stem cell transplants. We sought to improve upon these treatments by creating a pH-dependent targeted delivery system. The basis of the device are DNA nanoclues, which self-assemble through rolling circle amplification, or RCA. One of the benefits of using RCA is that only one template strand and only one primer strand are needed for amplification and self-assembly, as opposed to the large number of strands normally needed when constructing nanostructures. Nanoclues are resistant to nuclease degradation, denaturation, and dissociation. Additionally, functional components such as cell targeting moieties and drug loading compartments can be incorporated to the nanoclue via complementary binding sites. For our nanoclue structure, we attached an aptamer specific to Hodgkin's lymphoma cells and drug loaded DNA duplexes. The duplex encodes two structures the I-motif, and the G-quadruplex. The G-quadruplex is a tetraplex structure that holds zinc thalocyanine, which is a photosensitizer that releases reactive oxygen species when interacting with near-infrared irradiation. These reactive oxygen species destroy the cancer cell. The I-motif with the complementary sequence carries doxorubicin, the I-motif in the duplex changes conformation in the acidic endosomal interior of cancer cells and binds to other neighboring I-motifs, displacing the complementary strand. Doxorubicin is consequently released. Together, this combinatorial therapy uses photodynamic and chemotherapy to effectively fight cancer. 